In today's video, we continue to talk about comic books that are trending for the holiday season of 2020. Right here, right now, coming at you. Hello to all of my comic book Christmas shoppers. Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. So last week we posted a video talking about the best trending comic books for the holiday season of 2020. Well, I kind of wanted to make another one because uh, there were just so many books uh, that I found in doing my research that were trending. So I wanted to kind of continue that. Uh, of course, this week we have Still a lot of Star Wars. Star Wars is really, really hot right now due to all of the uh, possible uh, Disney Plus series that will be uh, coming to viewers in the near future, but also due to the success of The Mandalorian. Also, Turtles, Ninja Turtles, still very, very hot. And uh, we also have some Daredevil books that are uh, currently uh, trending due to some things that are happening in the ongoing Daredevil series. And also even some Hawkeye stuff, so we have some really awesome books lined up for you today. Speaking of Hawkeye, our first book on the list is Hawkeye number one from 2012. I actually have this book, I think I have a second print, and it's really great. Really happy to see that uh, this is a book that is currently trending. The reason why there's so much hype over Hawkeye number one currently is because there is a rumor that uh, Hawkeye will be coming to a Disney Plus series. And specifically, this issue of Hawkeye features the first appearance of Pizza Dog, who uh, was a fan favorite, as well as uh, first appearance of the Tracksuit Mafia. The Tracksuit Mafia was absolutely hilarious, really cleverly done by uh, Mac Fraction and David Asia. This is the first time that Kate Bishop and Clint Barton team up. And the new Disney Plus series is supposed to be featuring uh, a team up between Kate Bishop and Clint Barton, as well as having the Pizza Dog and the Tracksuit Mafia. So this book here is definitely trending. It seems like Disney is going to be modeling their series after the uh, Matt Fraction run on Hawkeye. Current prices for this book, really not st stupid expensive, but you can expect to, s to spend anywhere between $15 and $50, depending obviously on condition. And the Hawkeye speculation continues in Young Avengers number one. The reason why this book is currently trending is because it is the first appearance of Kate Bishop and because Kate Bishop is supposed to be playing a role in the new Disney Plus series, that is why people are going nuts after this book. Daredevil number 168. This book usually pops up in uh, trending lists here and there. It is a very, very popular book, uh, not only because it is the first time that Frank Miller writes in a series, but also because this is the first appearance of Elektra, and Elektra was a very, very popular character uh, in the 1980s. The reason why this book is currently trending is actually because of the ongoing Daredevil series. Daredevil 25, uh, which recently came out, uh, stirred some hype over this book. And if you've read the book, you'll know why. But it does relate to Elektra. I will not uh, give anything away. But because of Daredevil 25, people are now developing more and more of an interest in Elektra's early appearances. Current prices for this book are in a huge range. You probably can pick this book up for maybe under $100, but uh, you can spend anywhere up to two, $300 on this book, depending on condition. And of course, what is any trending list in 2020 without a Star Wars comic book on it? As I mentioned in last week's video, Star Wars comic books are currently selling like hotcakes just because of all the exciting things that is going on with Star Wars, with the Mandalorian, Disney Plus series. Also, who knows what movies, uh, and what characters Star Wars will include in future movies. So people are just going nuts for uh, any Star Wars comics right now. Book I have here for you today is, excuse me if I'm saying this wrong, I'm actually a huge fan of Star Wars, but I never knew how to say this name. Kanan, uh, The Last Padawan, number six. I don't know if that's Kanan or Canon, but I'm gonna say Kanan. So Kanan, number six. Kanan, uh, The Last Padawan, number six. This is the first appearance of Sabine Wren. And uh, the reason why people are going nuts for this book right now is because Sabine Wren is actually rumored uh, to be appearing in some sort of Disney Plus 
series uh, in, in some form or another, whether it be The Mandalorian or some sort of uh, Ahsoka Tano solo series, uh, Sabine is expected to be following Ahsoka in her adventures. Current prices for this book can range anywhere between $50 and $100. And next we have another Hawkeye book. This is Hawkeye number 11. This is uh, an, actually a brilliant issue. It's, it's, it's a great issue. Uh, the entire story in Hawkeye number 11 from the 2012 Hawkeye series uh, is told from the point of view of the pizza dog, uh, which was, it was brilliant. Great, great issue. Uh, this issue actually uh, won an award, uh, the Eisner Award for best single issue of a comic uh, back when it was released. So uh, because of all the hype over Hawkeye and, and, and pizza dog and, and everything, this book is currently uh, trending. Thrawn number six, <laughs> another Star Wars book. I'm actually loving this because I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I'm so excited for uh, all of the new Star Wars content that uh, is going to be coming out in, in the years to come. But Thrawn number six is a trending comic book uh, because it retells the uh, origin of Thrawn. Uh, this is also an adaptation of Timothy Zahn's novel, called Thrawn, which only came out a few years ago. Uh, actually, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I also do reviews of Star Wars novels, and I do have this Thrawn novel, and I eventually will be doing a review on it because uh, Thrawn is just a, a huge character, larger than life, hasn't really appeared uh, on screen very much. He actually rose to prominence in the 90s uh, when he first appeared in Timothy Zahn's novel, Heir to the Empire. And uh, because he was such a popular character in, in these novels and fiction, uh, Star Wars, Disney decided to start using him in some of their content. So I'm really excited to see a live action Thrawn. We definitely can expect to be seeing a live action Thrawn in The Mandalorian because Ahsoka Tano in a recent episode of The Mandalorian did name drop Thrawn. So I cannot wait to see uh, what comes of it. Prices for this book right now are not really too, too high. Uh, you can probably pick it up from, for anywhere between $5 and $30. And following that Thrawn issue is Thrawn number one, and this is from the limited six issue series of Thrawn, and this basically tells the origin of Thrawn. Thrawn is really hot right now, so I definitely recommend picking up this book. Prices for this book can range anywhere between $10 and $40 currently. Daredevil number 25, and this is from Marvel's most recent uh, Daredevil run. If you haven't read any of the more recent Daredevil books, I actually have to highly recommend them. They're actually very, very good. I, um, I, I read a few of the trades and uh, really happy with what I, what I see right now. I have not read uh, this one, but uh, from what I hear, it is a big one. I know what happens in it. Uh, I don't want to give it away as a spoiler, but what happens in this book really has people going nuts for Daredevil books and also for uh, Elektra's earlier appearances from the 1980s. Prices for this book right now, even though this book just recently came out, uh, you can expect to pay anywhere between $15 and even $50 uh, for this book. Toxic Avenger number one, and I think we all know by now that there is a Toxic Avenger movie that is coming to us very soon. Uh, Peter Dinklage was actually cast for a role in this movie, uh, so because of that, People are just going crazy for Toxic Avenger number one. Prices for this book right now can range anywhere between $10 and $50. And the last book on our list is probably the most expensive and probably also the hottest book uh, in, in recent years. And that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one from the early 1980s. I believe it came out in 1984. Uh, people are just going nuts for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not only because of the last Ronin story that came out a couple months ago, but, but collectors are increasingly more paying attention to these early Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles books because uh, if, the collecting, if the collector's market has shown anything, it is that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one is the closest thing to an action comics number one that the modern era can have. So people are just going nuts for this book. Not only due to the popularity of the Turtles, but it also has a low print run and it really has huge, huge pop cultural impact. Definitely 
one of the best books of the 1980s. Now, that being said, the prices for this book are not by any means affordable. If you're looking to add a first print copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one to your collection, expect to pay anywhere between $5,000 and even upwards to 20,000. So that about does it for our video today. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. Love to hear from you all in the comments to tell me which books that are trending currently for holiday 2020 are your favorites. Let me know if you plan on picking any of these up. Let me know if you plan on buying any of these as gifts. Always love interacting with you in the comments. Till next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode. Now get out of here!